Right, so hello and welcome to the Adam and Val YouTube channel. I've got another home essential box for this lockdown period and this one's from Home Bargains. There was a lot of suggestions on a couple of the other essential boxes that I did saying Home Bargains have got one kit. I think people just want to see me waste my money. This one was $23.99 and they do say first impressions are everything. I've not opened the box. Again, when I ordered it, I did not look at what's coming. I like the surprise element. Some of these essential boxes have been really good. A few of them say no names, Marks and Spencers, not so good. This is the box and like I said, first impressions are everything. This looks like it, I've wrapped it. This, to be honest, this looks like I wrapped it up. This looks like it's a fake video and I've wrapped this myself. Look at the state of this. Look at this, it's quite heavy. There's quite some weight to it. But look at this, look. Look at that for quality control. From like a well-known store. I know they're on the bargain end. So they're called home bargains. I know they're on the bargain end, but you don't expect a box like that. Terrible. Uh, look that's been lobbed together and just to prove that I ain't making this video up you can see right there on the label it says right at the top right there like there somewhere home bargains I'll just rip me uh, rip me a dress off in case someone sends me some stuff through the mail if it was good stuff I'll accept it but you never know what you're gonna get like this box so let's open this up and see what we're getting in quite a weighty box let's just hope that they had a bad day with the packing of this. So let's open this up. It looks like it's already been opened. Oh, been open. Two different types of sellotape on this. We've got brown sellotape and white sellotape. Home bargain, what are you doing to me? I need a knife. Today's unboxing tool is gonna to be a big. Today's unboxing tool as the Bic let me down is an oyster opener. I've not had an oyster for ages. Oh, I love them Whitstable oysters. When can I get back down and get some of them? Right, so let's open, oh my God. Worst box ever. Award at home bargain, well done on that. Right, so. Finally got it open. Home bargain. Bargain box. Home bargain. Right, so let's see what we're gonna get in this. Remember, twenty-three pound. Is it gonna be worth it? I ain't got a clue what's gonna be inside. First of all, we have got some toilet roll. Toilet roll. Okay. I don't think we're struggling everywhere to get toilet roll at the moment, but you put some toilet roll in there, so I'll accept that. I think that's an, uh, an essential for an essential box. We have got some part baked white crusty rolls. That's not bad, I'll accept them. We've got some disco crisps. Good old disco crisps. I ain't had them for a few years. We've got some Tetley tea bags right there. We've got some Alpine light little bars of alpine lights. We've got some more of these alpine lights with them ones with summer fruits and we've got chocolate and fudge. Not bad there. Another packet of crusty rolls right there. We've got some brown basmati rice. Quite a big bag as well, probably 500 gram in it. It's one kilo. Oh, oh, oh. We've got some of these skinny whips. I think they're kind of like, um, kind of like a Milky Milky Way sort of thing, Milky Bar, Milky Way. We've got some Tuck Cheese Crackers. It was quite a not bad amount of stuff so far on doing that. We've got some shortbread biscuits. We've got some stirring pasta sauce. And Dominic, Domio, Domio. We've got four tuna. Tuna things, what are they, tins of tuna? Yeah, tins of tuna, that is it. We've got some wine gums, wine gums. On an essential box, they're giving me wine gums. Never heard nothing like it. Some wine gums there. I did cut my finger the other day, and it's an awkward experience having, that's like your main finger, it's an awkward experience having that cut. We've, look at this, butter chicken, curry sauce 
Look at that. <laughs> uh, oh, we've got some foxy rocky, rocky, rocky bars. They're nice. Yeah, well, it's quite a bit of stuff in here, and I'm still going for 23 quid. Um, chili con carne, one in Coleman's packets that you, you make it up. There's no meat in this, there's no like meat and stuff, so you are, you, already I can see there's a few meals of fried meat. If you're a vegetarian, you've got a couple of meals because you've got rolls, you've got tuna, you've got some butter, chicken sauce, you've got some brown rice. There's a few meals already and there's like drinks, you've, there's no coffee. Hey! There's no coffee, that's a big error on Home Bargains part, not putting no coffee in. You've got your toilet bowl, you've got tea bags, like I said, and you've got a couple of little sweets and chocolate bars, and you've got the lighter version as well. So, so far, not bad. All at the bottom now is pretty much tins and some milk. Look at this. This box, I tell you, I tell you what, Home Bargain, the box you've sent me, it's just been lobbed around, isn't it? You've literally lobbed this everywhere. I'm surprised that milk ain't opened. And we've got, some, look at this. Home Bargain. Look, the, t the tin. Home Bargain, I know you're on the bargain side, but... There's no need for some of this. There's another tin dented this. So that was beans, another good thing. Another dented tin. And this is, oh, I've never seen this. I didn't know Heinz did corn. I've never seen Heinz do corn. And the camera keeps wanting to focus on everything. What is it? Do that? Even the camera don't want to know. Corn from Heinz in, a, in another dented tin. Another tin of beans. It's still a slight dent on that. So I think Home Bargains get their product cheap. They just get all the uh, dented tins. So we've got cream of tomato soup. So soup right there, I'm sure that's perfectly fine. We got some chicken soup that's been dented up to actually. We got some chopped tomatoes. We've got some din dented tin, dented tin kidney beans. Never seen so many dented tins. Do you remember that's the last one and the last one's mashy peas. Mashy peas. Right, so there's a few things to dissect here. One. Quality control is not the best from Home Bargains. On every single other box I've had, the quality controls, I had no issues. Even though nothing's destroyed here, so nothing is actually destroyed. We've got a few dented tins, a few, like this packet of this toilet roll had a little rip in it as well. It's minor things you could pick up on if you wanted to, a nitpick. Dented tins. You don't even really see dented tins in the supermarket. Do you remember when you used to go to the supermarket and the dented tin would have like 5p off or something? You still find them, but not as many as you used to. Um, so yeah, there's, the milk is, I'm really surprised this ain't just ripped open in the box, so, and the box was in a state, so Home Bargains quality control is absolutely shocking, whoever's packed this, I'm surprised they've even still got a, they've got a job because I don't, I don't understand, uh, Anyway, let's stop going over the negatives. Let's stop going over. Let's put all that to the side and let's see what we've got. Maybe I'm just being too fussy. Let's see what we've got for £24. I think it's £23.99 and it is free delivery. So I think it's the only one on there that offers free delivery. We've got tins. Even though they're dented, we've, we're, we're, we're past that. We're past being negative. We're going to be positive on this now. We've got mashed peas. We've got chicken soup. We've got some chopped tomatoes. We've got some... You know what? I really didn't do... No, Heinz did corn. Heinz sweet corn. We've got some kidney beans. Two tins of baked beans, so that's not bad, that's seven tins right there, and we've got obviously four tins of tuna. So we've got seven tins, a pack of tuna. That's not bad, we've got some chili con carne, we've got some rice, we've got some, and then we've got a few little sort of treats. We've got some rocky bars, we've got some wine gums, we've got some skinny dips, skinny whips, we've got some alpine lights, some rolls, some biscuits, some pasta sauce, but no pasta, I've just realized that, no pasta. We've got some tea, but no coffee. We've got some crisps. Oh, we've got another tin of soup. So that's eight tins right there. Two packs of rolls, so eight rolls. Toilet roll, milk. I think money-wise, it's, it's acceptable. Like I said on previous videos, you can't even fill a carrier bag nowadays with £25 worth of shopping. And there's quite a bit here. So there's definitely acceptable money-wise. The only issue I'm having is there's a few things that I would have put in if I was doing this personally. One, you have to have coffee. There's, there's, you have to have coffee. Two, I think you have to have pasta as well. There's no pasta here as well. No pasta at all. Um, crisps I'm fine with. What else would I say? There's obviously no meat. I don't, I, there, ain't, there ain't no meat. So apart from the tuna, it's not a bad one. It's better for, better than Marks and Spencer's because there was no meals in that, but the quality of the products were better. Yes. Yeah, 
it's make your mind up yourselves. What do you reckon? Do you reckon it's better than the others, or do you reckon it's worse? It was a fun experience unboxing it. I hope you enjoyed this video. You lot take care of yourselves. See what I can make for dinner. Might go for the old uh, dainty tin. <laughs>